George Ferguson has seen a lot in his 18 years with the Haver High tennis program. That includes the Blue Ponies winning nine combined titles between the boys and girls from 2000 to 2009. But one of the most consistent tendencies of this Haver tennis program has been the success in boys doubles. I obviously inherited some really good players and really good teams and, and one of those was you know Mark Mariani and Gary Wagner so for me it kind of started there and I think it's just been you know passed down, handed down that doubles tradition. We work pretty hard at it. Some kids embrace it and again Kennedy and Trey certainly have and they're having a great season. Kennedy McKay and Trey Murphy entered the season next in line to carry on that proud tradition and it's a combo that started strong four seasons back. Our freshman year, we uh, had to battle up to get on varsity to go to divisionals, and then we w made it to the semis. So we just played as hard as we could and didn't give up, I guess. There was no expectation, so you can just come in there and give your best shot. Yeah. If you lose, you know, you're supposed to, but if you win, it's a great thing. McKay and Murphy waited in the wings for their shot at being top dog for the Blue Ponies. Before a duo earns its opportunity at number one, though, it must show its value against the current varsity doubles team. For McKay and Murphy, that meant battling last season's state runners-up, Jake Seedall and Nate Korb. I think that Coach Ferg teaches us really well how to play doubles, and without his help, we wouldn't be anything. But we also learn a lot from playing with the number ones as twos, so it just gives us an expectation of what we're going to face at number ones the next year. Just iron sharpens iron. You know, we just go at it every day in practice, competitive, and of course we want to beat the ones before. Every day. And that's how we just want to bring that attitude every day, be competitive. Their style of play um, together, they are two completely different styles, so they're very hard to prepare for. The t even the teams that have already played them, they just give people fits because they're going to throw many different things at you. That That's technically, that's why they're really tough. I know they're going to go far. I don't know, you know, no, no way to predict where that's going to be when we get to Polson, but but I know they're going to be very successful when the season's over. McKay and Murphy are chasing the program's first State A doubles title in boys since Kyle Miller and Mason Shepard won in 09. But when they leave this program after the weekend state tournament, the cupboard certainly won't be bare. Absolutely. We have a sophomore doubles team that's our number two doubles team right now. I'm expecting to keep them together for four years. And Kennedy and Trey play them a lot in practice. They play on their free time. They go back and play with them. I know they're helping them. They, I've heard them talk to them in practice about certain things. They're passing it on. They're doing exactly what was done to them and many kids before them, and, and that's great. That's one of the things I'm most proud of my program for is the kids take care of each other and teach each other and help them. And, and so the, the double situation is in good hands in the future, I feel like. Reese Bulkley and Jake Houston will be most likely the number ones next year. And then we try to teach them a lot. We try to give them a lot of heads up. They're young, they're only sophomores, so we try to help them out as much as we can. They live up to the expectations? Yeah, oh, yeah sure, they can. Next team up, Richie Melby, MTN Sports.